All right, y'all, I'm gonna show you how to replace a control board on a Honeywell gas valve that's on a water heater. You wanna make sure the temperature knob is in the off position, and you turn off the gas supply to your water heater. My gas supply, the lever is in line with the gas line, it's on. So I turn it to the right, 90 degrees, and it's off. Turn off the gas supply to your water heater. The model number on the Honeywell gas valve that had the failed board is this. W like William, V like Victor, 8840, B like boy, 1109. The control board in the Honeywell gas valve that I purchased to replace just the control board in my Honeywell gas valve that wasn't working is this. W like William, V like Victor, 8840, C like Charles, 1531. I did a lot of troubleshooting on my water heater to determine what the problem was. And I tested out the igniter, the thermal pile, the thermal switch, the pilot valve, and the main burner valve. The pilot valve and main burner valve pins are directly behind this cover and control board. This is what the actual gas valve looks I like. I did a video on all the troubleshooting I did to test out ultimately that the control board in this Honeywell gas valve had failed. For those of you who don't know how to remove the cover on this water heater, here's how you do it. You can pinch here and just pinch it together or pinch or hold and remove it from one side or the other and it pulls right off. To replace the control board, you have to disconnect the igniter wire, which is this orange wire right here, from the switch. Next, you have to disconnect the thermal pile wires, these two guys right here. You do that by rocking this gently back and forth. You don't want to pull it out straight. You can damage it, and it comes right off. So now you should have your temperature knob in the off position, your gas supply to your water heater off, the igniter wire disconnected, and the thermal pile wires disconnected. There is a screw that holds on the cover on this gas valve, and that's located at the lower left. It takes a Torx bit, just like that, y'all. You remove the screw. There are two retaining clips at the top of this cover, and you'll need a flat blade screwdriver to help you work those down to take the cover off. The best way I've found to remove the cover is to, at the bottom, rotate it out and up just a little bit. And then press down on those retaining clips at the top, pulling the cover out toward you just a little bit at a time. And then it comes right off. You don't want to remove the wires that are attached to this control board quite yet. All right, y'all, with the cover removed, the first thing you want to do is remove these three wires from that retaining clip at the top of the back of that cover. These three wires go to the temperature sensor that's inside the back of this gas valve that goes into your hot water heater tank. Be very careful with those. I use a flat blade screwdriver Sneak that in and push out those three wires like that. Now with the wire released, you want to remove the screw that's holding in that control board. It, you use the same Torx bit you use to remove the cover. There it is. There are three retaining clips, one, two, three, that are now holding this board in. Before you release those, you guys got to be mindful of this locating pin and this black arm right there. That black arm is coming off the temperature control knob on the front cover right here. You want to be mindful to not put too much tension when you're bringing that control board out on that black arm because it is attached to that temperature control knob 
and it's a delicate little thing. So just be careful and move slowly. I use a flat blade screwdriver or a popsicle stick to help me push back those retaining clips to get that board out. Just a little bit at a time. It'll be easier for you guys without a camera in front of you because you'll have full sight of it. It'll be a lot easier for you guys because you're you're not filming it. So don't think this is difficult. It's really not. Release that pin back. Now. This little guy back here. Down there needs to be removed. There you go. So now the control board is going to come out. Take it out as level as you can so you don't damage the arm on that temperature knob. There you go, y'all. Now you rotate the board toward you and remove that connection for those three wires. I use a flat blade screwdriver to depress that little tang there. There you go. Pull it right out. Now you replace your old board with your new board. In my case, I'm putting the same board back in because it's a new one and it's good. So now we have the new control board and we're going to install that or put it on. Take the connection, put it in, make sure it's secure, rotate the board. Get your cover and carefully place the board in the cover. And the way I do it is I locate that black arm from the temperature control knob and that locating pin. And I gently place it on like that. It'll start to win a seat. Now you can either use your fingers or a screwdriver to push back those retaining clips to get that board in. I'm going to use my fingers in this case. Just push it down a little bit. On that side it's engaged. On this side it's not. Now the board is fully seated. Make sure that's secure. Replace the screw on the board. In. make sure your connection is secure put the wires back in the retaining clip just work them in there you go now your new control board is in the screw is in the connection for the three wires is in and secure and the three wires are back in their retaining clip now you rotate the cover you want to make sure these three wires are tucked into that cover before you put it on. So the trick to getting the cover back on is this. You want to gently feel around, you're doing it blindly, for those three pins that are protruding out of this gas valve to be seated on that control board. So just gently place that cover on and work it around a bit until you feel those three pins go into that control board. And you'll feel it when they seat because you won't have resistance. Just keep working it around. Don't bend those pins y'all. Just be careful and take your time. So I can feel that mine are seated.
and there she goes. She snaps in. Replace the screw on the cover. Now with the cover on, reconnect your igniter wires. Reconnect your thermopile wires. Turn on the gas supply to your water heater. Move the temperature knob from the off position to the pilot position and press and hold the temperature knob in and strike the igniter. I heard my pilot start. Continue holding in the temperature knob for about 30 seconds to allow the gas to flow through and heat up that thermopile to operate the control board in this gas valve. We should see a light once, there it is. This status light will blink once every three seconds if this gas valve and water heater are in normal operation mode. And there we have it. I continue holding in the temperature knob for about another 30 seconds so that it's heating up that thermal pile to operate the control board in this gas valve. Release the temperature knob. Turn the temperature knob to your desired setting. I do not go past hot because these Honeywell gas valves will lock out and go into four flash high temperature shutdown status if the water is too hot. and the burner just came on. And that's how you replace a control board on a Honeywell gas valve on a water heater. Hope it helps and happy DIY.